Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative or the integration of 2x times in brackets x squared minus 5 to the power of 7 with respect to x. Step number one, if you think about this carefully, you have to use the method of substitution. And basically you have to look at one part, and in this case, this one part is going to be x squared minus 5 such that the derivative is going to be a scalar multiple of the other part. So again, if you think about this, du by dx, which means you find the derivative of u with respect to x, this equals to 2 times x. And again, if you isolate for 2x, and I'll write it right here. Let's move it up a little bit for you. There you go. du equals to 2x times dx. And again, let me switch colors for you. So I'm circling this part in orange. Let's do this in a different color. 2x times dx. This is basically going to be du. So what this implies is you can go back to the beginning. We write the entire given as the integration of, instead of writing 2x dx, it's going to be du. And instead of writing x squared minus 5 to the power of 7, it's going to be u to the power of 7. Now, don't forget, when you find the antiderivative of u to the power of 7, you have to add the exponent by 1, divide by the new exponent. So in this case, it's going to be u to the power of 8, divided by 8, plus a constant c. Again, you're looking for infinite many cases, not just one case. And here comes the final answer. 1 divided by 8 times, in brackets, x squared minus 5 to the power of 8 plus c. Now again, how do you know for sure if you're doing it right? Here's what you should do, and I would like you to try this on your own. Spend one more minute double checking. Now, I'll double check with you mentally. If you took the derivative of the given or of the final answer here, it should give you exactly the question back. Now, when you find a derivative of 1 over 8 times x squared minus 5 to the power of 8 plus c, you have to apply the chain rule. 8 times 1 over 8 is going to be 1. Then you copy x squared minus 5 to the power of 7 times the internal derivative, which is 2x. And of course, when you differentiate a constant, that's going to be 0. And it will give you exactly 2x times, in brackets, x squared minus 5 to the power of 7 back. I hope this makes sense.